Hey, it's Dr. Cyprian. I um, just wanted to do a quick little video here for you guys talking about this class I have coming up next Tuesday. You know, it's kind of funny that when I planned this class, I thought someone would come. They're like, oh, yeah, we'll do it sometime in March or whatever. And <laughs> who would have known that we're going to do it is like some of the biggest changes were happening in our lives. And a lot of us probably need this right now, too. So. Yeah, despite everything going on, I think it's perfect timing for this. And we'll talk a little bit about this. So it's about working on your trauma. Now, what is trauma? Trauma is when, you know, things happen in life. Now, you could fall, you could hurt yourself. That's physical trauma. Um, you could eat or you could eat something that's bad for you. You can get food poisoning. You can expose yourself to a toxin or poison. It's about a chemical trauma. You can get frostbite, that's a trauma to cold. You can get burnt, that's a trauma to heat. Um, there's all sorts of different traumas. The main thing we're gonna be working with is mental emotional trauma. So we all know this stuff happens. We go through really stressful times and we should just recover from it. You know, our body should, just like the other traumas, it should heal, but sometimes we don't get the full healing. Sometimes there's still a scar left emotionally and mentally. And what's this gonna do? It's gonna alter the way we think and feel, the way we're gonna to react towards things. Also, what it's gonna do is just gonna give us an uncomfortableness. And what do people do when they feel emotionally uncomfortable? No, oh, I can't deal with that right now. I'm just gonna put it back there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not worry about that right now. I'm gonna focus on something else. I'm gonna focus on being positive. I'm gonna do some positive affirmations. I'm gonna think positively. I'm gonna go do yoga. I'm gonna go for a run. I'm gonna drink alcohol. I'm gonna eat food. I'm gonna go just talk to my friends and hang out. You're gonna do something that distracts you from that trauma. Now, it's very important to, I mean, you could do that up front, but if you have traumas building up like that, it's gonna build up in something called your shadow. This is a part of your subconscious where all this kind of garbage goes, all right? And when too much stuff builds up in there, it eventually starts coming back around in darker ways than it originally showed up. So it can cause us to attract bad things in life. It can cause us to have bad reactions towards people. And we don't realize how we're acting that's in a bad way. It can cause us to sabotage opportunities. It just causes a lot of bad things to happen to us in life, mentally, emotionally feeling that way, attracting things in life, and our reactions, how we react to things. And... Like I talked about before, people want to do their affirmations, they want to do their visualizing, they want to do their manifesting. But when you have all this stuff stored up in your shadow, you can't really easily manifest what you want because there's other things to the contradiction in there. And when we don't see these things, we don't sense these things, we don't know these things, what is, that's why it's called the subconscious, we don't know what's going on, we wonder why, well, I'm visualizing my new career, my new relationship, I'm visualizing an easier life or more money or my health and I'm affirming it every day and how come it's not working? For example, I've been through this. I have stacks and stacks and stacks of journals. I used to sit every morning and write my positive affirmations, write them out, write them out, pages, 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 whole journals filled with what I want to create in life but I never actually felt like life was pulling me along with what I was visualizing, with what I was wanting, with what I was affirming to myself. And it's because I had a lot of trauma in the way. And a couple times here and there, I worked at this letting go technique and it helped me release things. And then a couple of years ago, I was in some really, I was in a really bad place mentally, emotionally. Everything around me started collapsing. It's the universe's way of saying, oh, you gotta clean out what's going on in there if you wanna move on. So I started doing this releasing work constantly and got it to a habit of where I feel something uncomfortable. I'm like, get, I would get excited. I'd be like, wow, there's something uncomfortable here to work on. Let me pull that little thread. Let me see what it is. You're not getting away. I'm going to get you out of there. I'm going to process you. So what I'm going to teach you in this workshop is how to find these things that have been buried down deep in there that are causing you to not feel well, that are causing you not to be able to get where you want to life, that are causing you to just not be happy in life. We always wanna push things in the back into that shadow like I talked about. In this class, we're gonna really teach you how to feel that emotion, to really dig into it, to welcome it, to welcome the pain, to welcome the discomfort. 
what happens when you welcome pain when it's under your control and you're controlling it it's not as painful right we do a lot of things that put ourselves in pain but it's voluntary you know we go work out at the gym we do other things here and there and sometimes it's painful but like oh we, we did that we wanted that so it's not a bad thing so when you're bringing up these traumas and these pains and these old emotional things um actively purposely voluntarily it's on a different term and then from there as you focus on it and allow it and observe it and i'm going to teach you to observe it with all your senses in many different ways so you can process it even quicker it starts dissipating and once you could dissipate this you could actually let it go and you could fill yourself back up with a higher vibration of whatever you need for yourself to move forward into life so this is kind of the basis of what we're going to be doing here, teaching you to really feel what's going on, allowing you to just come to terms of it and observe it and be there with it and then to let it go. And then once you let it go and you might have to, you know, do this, learn this as a habit for yourself, but it's a great tool to work with yourself in the future. And, you know, there's a lot of great practitioners out there and that help you release a lot of these things. But if you could do this yourself every single day, whenever something's coming up, you're getting so much more work done. And then when you do work with those practitioners, you get a lot bigger work done because you're getting all the little stuff out of the way. Once you get all the stuff out of the way, it allows you to paint that picture you want. You know, But if you're painting over rust, if you're painting over a canvas that's not primed and you don't have a good, clean, solid foundation for the paint, that painting's not going to last. That painting is it's just going to fall apart. That that paint, the rust is going to come up through it again, or the canvas is going to make the paint seep in because you don't have a primer for it. So to really manifest things you want in life, sometimes you have to get the garbage out to actually be able to get the good stuff to stick on top and to keep building the layers of the good stuff that you want in life. So this is a technique since I've been really doing it for years. I learned it years ago. It was a book called Letting Go by David R. Hawkins. I definitely recommend reading that. But I'm going to teach you some of these techniques out of the book. And I'm going to apply some other tools with it too. And this has one of the, been one of the most important things for my life transformation myself. And I've been doing all sorts of you know weird, holistic, self-help things for years and years and years. But this got me really at the furthest because... No matter what you're trying to do, like I said, if you have that, 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 that uncomfortableness, those traumas, all that stuff underneath, you can't really build much of a foundation on top of where you want to get to in life. And I'm really looking forward, especially in these times we have, to sharing this class with you and, and doing this. I think it's going to be tremendous for people. I really do. Just give you your own tools to deal day to day to feel better. All right. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please just send me a message. Let me know. Bye-bye.